Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been such a long... Oh, 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 first things first. Happy New Year! So I actually haven't filmed in a really, 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 really long time. So I'm going to try and whiz through this very, very quickly. This is going to be a long video because it is my 2017 beauty favorite. So this one I'm going to do a little bit differently because... You guys already know the staple products that I really, really love, like my powders and all the things that are genuinely just staple products that I'm constantly using. So I'm not going to mention those. I am going to only mention the standout products, the products that made me go, whoa, okay. So those are the products that I'm going to mention today, aside from the obvious products that you know that I love and use constantly, continuously, all the time. So if you would like to see my 2017, I'm filming this in 2018, but if you would like to see my 2017 favorites, beauty-wise, keep watching. Two eyeshadows were standout products for me for this year. And this is bad because I recently got these in the last month or so. But honestly, they are the standout products. Aside from the Lorac Pro um, palette, eyeshadow palette that I have, these two just took the cup. Like, I have never used eyeshadows that are as pigmented, as easy to use, as blendable as the Tarte eyeshadow palettes. And honestly, if I'm to recommend them, like if somebody said, what kind of eyeshadows would you recommend that I buy? I would definitely go with Tarte. My favorite one being the toasted palette, actually. Yes. So let's start with that one. This is the Tarte toasted, toasted palette. Ever since I received this palette, I have been using the heck out of this palette. Like, I love it that much. It's got warm colors, very, very warm colors. You've got an orange. You've got a deep brown if you want to smoke things up a little bit or for your crease area. I absolutely love, love, love this eyeshadow palette. And a close second is the Tarte Lit in bloom palette which is also another warm like for me i think people who know me or if you've been watching this channel for a while you should know that i love neutral eyes i am not too crazy about having dark eyes or bright sparkly eyes apart from today apart from today but everyone who knows me knows that i absolutely love neutral eyes and eyeshadow loves are definitely these two And then moving on to brows. Now you guys know that I absolutely love my MAC spiked pencil, but I did not put that in this video because I know you know I love it, right? So the only three, there's three products that have stuck out. I can't talk. I haven't filmed in such a long time. There are three products that have stuck out for me like a lot, a lot. And uh, the first two are from Benefit and these were um, gifts from Benefit, but I have used the heck out of this product. It is actually looking so tacky right now because I use it every single day. Ever since I got it, it is so good. This is the Brow Zings um, Total, and Tame, Total Taming and Shaping Kit for Brows. It is so, so, so good. And I use number six. I think it's great if you are somebody who loves to put the, the, the cream Definitely good for making your eyeshadow last a little bit longer and then the powder I use to fill in the gaps where there's no, you know, hairs and things but I love this. It's so tacky, it's so grimy right now, but it, it has actually received so much love from me. And going with that is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which I love because it comes with the spoolie on the one end and then the pencil on the other end. And I absolutely love these two together. Like now, I just use these two together. If I'm not using Spiked, I'm using these two. And I love them. And then one product which I actually never mentioned but found myself using quite a bit is the Maybelline Brow Drama in uh, Sculpting Brow Mascara in Dark Brown. So this I used normally when I just didn't care to put on any product on my brows but I wanted to just brush something through them and make it look put together. This is basically like a mascara, looks like a mascara but the wand actually has a little bit of... Um, circle type of fibers it is great it is great and i got it in dark brown and it works and it keeps them put together and it keeps them looking fly even though you haven't really done much to them so brow products definitely love these and then foundation now 
this is an obvious if you watch me like you know what foundations i'm gonna mention if you watch me right if you watch if you don't please click subscribe like now you can i don't mind i can wait for you click Damn, good. Uh, the two foundations that I've been using the heck out of are these two. This is the original Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which I absolutely love. I can't say much about it. It's a matte foundation. It looks so good. Literally sticks to your face. Does not move. This is the one foundation that I can guarantee you does not move from your skin throughout the day. And it actually wears very, very well throughout the day. Easily blendable. So many, 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 many colors in the range. You are bound to find something for you. And then Estee Lauder dropped this baby. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Foundation. The difference between these two, this one is a little bit lighter, which is great for the warmer months like now like as i record this it's very very hot this is great for the warmer months and this is great i enjoyed using this in the winter months because it is slightly heavier than this one this one you can literally shake it it even says shake well before you apply it you literally have to shake it so that the product blends in together but it is amazing it's a light it applies on lightly but gives you full coverage i think these are two great foundations to invest in if you love foundation okay okay and then another love that i haven't really been speaking much about but i actually love to death this is the lancome tan idol ultra wear foundation i am in the shade number 10 love this foundation it is long wearing it is beautiful on the skin it does not give a matte finish it gives you a very nice dewy finish if you're somebody who loves dewy finishes this does the most okay it's a really really great foundation and lasts a long time also has great amount of shades so you're bound to find something for you and i absolutely love it only thing is if you're not a fan of perfumed foundations you might not want to get this because yeah, even when opening the cap, you, it actually smells like perfume. So you might want to consider not getting it if you don't like that. But if you do and you don't mind, trust, you're going to love this one. It is so, so great. You're going to love it. And then, of course, powder. I only use one powder. I don't have it here to show you. But you guys know I use the MAC Skin... MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Powder. I use it all the time. I have not changed. I've tried out different powders, but that one seems to be the best for me. Another one that I really, really love a lot is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, which my shade is Caramel. I absolutely love them. They are great. I don't have them here because those are the only two powders that I use, and I'm pretty sure that you guys know that already. So we're going to move on. And then, of course, to bake on the days that I do bake, this has been my stand out, stand out uh, powder. This is the Black Opal Soft Velvet Finishing Powder in Medium, number 400 Medium. This, let's like, ooh, ooh. Before, I used to love the Sasha Buttercup Powder, but this one has a little bit of a more brownie orange tint, which just literally lights up the area underneath your eyes every time you bake. It is beautiful. Nothing sits like this. It is very, very soft. It does not leave any funny marks once you've applied it and then brush it away. It leaves your skin looking very soft, smooth. It is beautiful. I highly employ that you get this. And then the two highlighters that I've been using this year are these two. L religiously, religiously. Apart from Global Glow and, and, and the others, these two I've been using religiously. Much, much love to this one. I've given it a little bit of a break now because this one gives a very strobe-like, very HD, bright, bright, bright uh, finish of which right now it's not something that i'm really into but when i was in the earlier stages of the year i definitely used this highlighter every single day or every single time i applied makeup it is so good this is the la girl strobe light strobing powder in 20 watt love this and then my religious everyday uh highlight is uh from mac gives off a very nice elegant just a soft finish but it's what i've got on today it gives a very nice elegant soft finish nothing too bright and this is shaft of gold extra dimension skin finish very very nice unfortunately this was part of a collection so it 
is sold out, it's not available, but it's a really, really great highlight. And then, of course, for um, contour, I love the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Deep. We're not even going to talk about this. I use it all the time. I've hit pan on it. And this is my second one. So I need to start considering getting another one very, very soon. But this is one of my faves. I love it. I love it. I love it. The two mascaras that have been highlights for me this year are these two. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama, which is currently what I'm using at the moment. Nothing beats this mascara. I, I, I really don't even want to lie. Nothing has beat, beaten this mascara. Don't beat Fandag for me. Uh, before I jumped onto this one, I really, really loved this one. This is the Essence, the False Lashes Mascara. Really, really good as well. Very good at giving volume, at giving, like they, they just push your lashes out, giving length, volume. And if you like that spidery feel to your lashes, these do the trick. I love, love, love these ones. Love it. And then we are almost done. Finally, the lip products. For me, lip products, I just, oh, I love lip products. But of course, as you know, lip products, the ones that I love the most are going to be nudes, but it is what it is. So the liquid lipsticks that I've been loving, it's actually all liquid lipsticks because I've been wearing liquid lipsticks for the longest time now. The liquid lipsticks that I've been absolutely loving, we're going to start off with these two high-end ones. This is the uh, Kat Von D range and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills range. I've got a few from both of um, these brands and I think for liquid lipsticks they are absolutely amazing. They apply really well, they do not dry out your lips, they look really 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 good on and when you eat and drink and what have you, when they fade they don't crease and crack and fade really, uh, they don't segment like just uh, all over. If you wear lipsticks, you know what, liquid lipsticks, you know what I'm talking about. These fade very, very nicely and you just really just have to reapply them again. But they are great. As well as this. This is a newbie love and this is from Smashbox Cosmetics. These are the always on liquid lipsticks. Really, really good as well. This is actually what I've got on my lips right now. It's so beautiful. Absolutely love these. And then, how do I not, how do I not, darling, how do I not mention the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. Let's call them liquid lipsticks because let's call them for what they are. Okay, girl? Liquid lipsticks. Absolutely love these. You guys know I'm a big fan. I've always been a big fan of these. Um, especially love the red one. My ears itchy. Somebody talking about me. Mm. Okay. I especially love the red one. Big fan. Absolutely love them. They are so, so great. And yeah, that is pretty much my favorites from the beauty beauty section of life uh, <laughs> those are my favorites i hope you guys enjoyed this video it is getting really really hot in here because i've got lights on behind you but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will be doing a 2017 lifestyle favorites as well so be sure to look out for that one until the next one i will see you very very soon bye